that sex flex. That's what I mean. I put that on the set day. Blue checks, blue rags on the left side. Strong famous and they did it on the west side. Big money, big gun. Shout out to Young Goat, the tongue and hum of Young Goat doing his thing. Check him out if y'all on Instagram at uh, Young Goat 102. Check my man out. He doing his shit. But I want to come right back at y'all real quick because of something I said. <clears throat> the last video about it's easier to be the blood in Inglewood than it is to be a crip. <clears throat> Tell y'all to excuse me for a minute. <clears throat> Them allergies and shit. <clears throat> but anyway. What I mean by that, right? So check this out. Hear this out. Back in the 80s, growing up in L.A., and I mean L.A., I mean inner city L.A., not so much as the outside cities such as Inglewood, Compton, Long Beach, Pasadena, and so on and so forth, <clears throat> but just L.A. in general. <clears throat> it was easier to be a crip in the whole city of L.A. at a certain time back in the 80s because there was more crips and there's more blood than there was bloods back then. I think now it seemed like it's more balanced out. But back in the 80s, it seemed like it was more Crips doing shit than it was Bloods. <clears throat> Not so much as active niggas. Bloods is banging as well. Niggas is doing shit too. I'm just saying, it seemed like it was easier to be a Crip back then. In comparisons, it's probably easier to be associated with the neighborhood car than it is to be associated with the Hoover car. The neighborhood car is huge. The neighborhood car is super huge. <clears throat> Then you got the Hoovers and you got some gangsters. So it's easier to be on the neighborhood side because the neighborhood side is if see hustle, the neighborhood side is trending, it's big. So, you know, it's always sides out here in this gang culture. So in cities where it's majority blood's at, like Pasadena, Inglewood, <clears throat> some would say San Diego. I don't know San Diego streets like that, so I can't really speak on that, but I'm gonna stick it with Inglewood and Pasadena, where it's more blood's at. It's easy to be on that side because you can just slide on in and be with the, with the majority. But when you're going against it, that's when you really test it. <clears throat> you see, that's these lines. There's lines of division within the gang culture that a lot of y'all don't understand. In particular, the Crips. If you fuck with this side of the Crip fence or you fuck with that side of the Crip fence, there's a great divide amongst the Crips in itself, like this. You fuck with them or you don't. Uh, <clears throat> in the hood, it's the same way. Everybody hood got divisions. Niggas, is, you fuck with these niggas or you don't. You fuck with those niggas or you do or you don't. Niggas is horn within hoods because the great lines of division. See, tribalism exists within this general tribalism this whole general general tri tribalism that we're all involved in called the gang culture you got eternal tribalism also <clears throat> y'all gotta excuse me but oh shit normally i start this shit over but fuck that this is real y'all <laughs> but yeah though know, so it's always easier to be on one side or the other it's easier to be from certain hoods than it is to be from others some hoods niggas press hard lines. Some hoods niggas don't. And that's how niggas can go ahead and slide in and be part of a gang. Because you're from a gang with niggas who don't press lines. I know what it's like to be from a hood with niggas press lines. Because when niggas press lines, you better be in alliance with that. You're going to get your issue. So it's easier throughout the gang culture to do things within certain gangs. It's just the way it is. Uh... <clears throat> Like I said, some hoods press hard lines. This explains why I think, and I had this discussion with many gang members over years in prison, we always look at like when people start little cliques within gangs, that's because actually they really scared to get jumped into the bigger gang, so they start a little smaller clique. Or they're just something about the bigger gang they don't like, so they start a little smaller clique. Eventually they turn out to be something different. So it's a trip because you got a lot of people doing that to this day, that's way older. We did that in my time with the Baby Ramis. That was our little clique. But we was all up under the RAC umbrella. We was Baby Ramis. We started our own little clique and then did what the big homies did. And we represented 104 BRC. That's what we did. <clears throat> you know what I mean? So there's always a side, a way to do things easier. That was the easier way for us because we was little niggas and didn't want to get jumped by the big homies like that. 
even though we did get a little issues with them at the time, but still we want to do our own thing. So it's easy to be from this set than it is to be from that set. When you're from a set that's under a lot of pressure, a lot of niggas are gonna want to be with that because a lot of niggas can't take that pressure. Niggas wanna jump on a big ass set where it's easy to be on, where you don't have niggas pressing you, making you go put in work. That's gang banging for you. Some gangs is like that. Some gangs, the big homies is gonna press you to put in work. Some, some gangs, niggas don't even give a fuck because it's a whole bunch of y'all and whatever. It's just easy to blend in because other niggas gonna take up the slack for you. But when you from certain gangs that's smaller, you're going up against the grain. That's when you really battle tested. That's when you really know what it's like to be a gang banger. Because you're really dealing with gang bang activities all the time. So that's what I mean when I said it's easier to be a blood in the city of Inglewood than it is to be a crip. It's been like that. But it's going to be same with Pasadena. You got Raymond's in Pasadena. The rest is Bloods. You hear what I'm saying? So it's easier to be with the Bloods than to be with these Crip niggas. Because these niggas the majority. And I could just blend in. Once again, the city of Inglewood just does that with the Bloods. Represent the culture of red. Well, that ain't really the city's colors. But that color of red is identified with the color of with the city of Inglewood because of the bloods. That's the majority. We the minority. It's always easier to be join the majority than to go with the minority. Now let's flip that shit into the human race. The black race, the white race, no, the Hispanic race, the Latino race, the Tongans, the Samoans, the Asians. It's always easier to be one or the other, right? That's why you get some niggas who back, they do sellout shit because it's easier to be with Massa than to be with these runaway slaves. Oh, I'm going too deep for y'all. I'm not about to slow down. I done went too deep now. <laughs> I don't want to go all black history with y'all, but y'all see where I'm getting, right? That's tribalism. That's a form of plantation psychosis that's been going on since the beginning of the time. You're going to join these forces over here, or you're going to join these. It always been a line of division, a great wall to divide. But like I always say, each day is a new day. And every day we have an opportunity to run that shit back. 